States is one of the largest consumers of seafood products. On average, Americans eat 918 million pounds of salmon. Americans' obsession with salmon is due in part to the many ways it can be prepared. However, despite its delicious versatility, the unappetizing truth is that salmon can only last up to two days in the refrigerator from a fresh state. After two days, bacteria will have grown so much that it could be unpleasant, if not outright dangerous to eat. Doctors Prashant Singh and Lucky Kui of Florida State University have been working on a product that may extend the shelf life of salmon for up to seven days, which in turn will help reduce food waste. This product might also help the domestic seafood industry be more competitive and incentivize American buyers away from cheaper imported fish. I joined FSU in 2017 and my all training was beef safety. So when I came, it took me time to set up all this lab, buy everything. And there's no much beef and poultry growing around here. So since 2018, I have been working on seafood. Americans love salmon. It is one of the most processed or high volume seafood commodity in the whole US. And the way Americans consume salmon is different. People prefer convenience category. Everything taken care of. Skin removed, head removed, backbone removed. So there's a thumb rule of doing microbiology. More you process, more the bacterial number shoots up. And in that also, they have two forms. One is the styrofoam trays and the second type of the packing is called skin pack. The skin pack line is becoming more and more prominent. But what happens that once the fish is packed, the bacteria still grows. So industry loses a lot of good salmon because they were, have increased or higher bacterial count. So that's what we are working to generate a solution for the industry where we can help them increase the self life by few days which helps with they being more profitable at the same time they being lesser food waste that's the vision of every food scientist we developed a um, kind of like relative stretchable and durable packaging material is biodegradable and also we use this kind of material to extend the chicken breast shelf life and so far it works and so that's why we want to try salmon. What I'm doing now is that I use the pea protein as the major component to prepare that coating solution. Then using this solution to coat the salmon to try to extend the shelf life of salmon. So the ingredient of this coating solution is mainly uh, pea protein. The protein isolated from yellow peas or green peas. So we're using this like natural green plant-based protein as the matrix of this coating solution. And the key player here is the essential oil, but in nano size. We actually can control the size of the essential oils in this protein solution. It can be at nanometer level, it can be at micrometer level. They can show different effects, but that's the work we're doing. Like we're trying to find the optimum. Just kind of you drip the salmon into the solution, then take them out. You just form a thin kind of feel on the surface of the salmon. So try to prevent the uh, food spoilage, also the lipid oxidation. The procedure is very simple, but it's very effective to prevent the bacterial growth. 
consumers have been long complaining about those synthetic antioxidants or other preservatives. So with some more technologies we have been doing, uh, then we realize it's possible that we can boost the efficiency of some natural compounds. So we kind of focused on several promising natural compounds, and then we try to use these different methods to make them work better, while in the meantime, to avoid their negative impacts. Now we need to give the salmon some time to dry. And what I'm doing now is counting the colony. You know, we do the salmon, mm -hmm. and also we need to know the bacteria load on the salmon. The colony, this one is too much. Too much bacteria? Yeah. We just do the serious dilutions to count the colony. This one is too much because the dilution is too low. We need to do higher dilution for this one is minus three dilution. It will be much better than this one. Yeah. But these coating solutions, they are definitely uh, environmental friendly. And even if in some cases we don't use the coating itself, we, we use the coating to form a like a packaging material and then wrap the salmon with it. In that case, although it's called edible, but even if you don't like it, you don't eat it together with the salmon, you can just discard it. And they can be degraded in any environment, unlike plastics, which are going to be stay there for a long time. You have different commodities, right, in the United States. You got the beef, you got poultry, you got seafood, fresh produce. And this is how it happens. A, the commodity which is heavily hit by regulation one after another, and because of some outbreak or government wants to reduce, control some diseases, they get really organized. They get united and they invest money in research to be in compliance with the new regulation. So they are really top of their game. Example, beef industry. Same happened with poultry. So beef is at top of their game, then the poultry, then the fresh produce. Seafood is far behind. That is the component one. Component two, I'm in Florida. Florida, the seafood is the integral part. And we must do everything possible to protect and help our domestic economy. My job is to help the industry because if not industry is going to take the hit and our food prices is going to go up generate students here by doing seafood research tomorrow they can go and find a job in those processing plants so that's why this whole plan to help everybody in a plan everybody must win the labs should win the processor should win the students should all win so that's my vision.